thought this a lot about the NBA because it's kind of like a little office setting. You know, you got guys all put together. They didn't ask to be with one another. A lot of different personalities, a lot of different types of play. You've got coaches that come and go. They've got different systems that they want to run. Some of those systems deprioritize you and prioritize others. Other guys you get traded, uh, and they come to your team. They change the dynamic. So what do you do? How do you try to fix things when they go sideways? And I think that's a question that teams probably have been asking for years. And I have been asking it very specifically about how does anybody patch things up with Rudy Gobert? How does anybody patch things up when this is a player that, like, is universally disliked? Oftentimes, over and over again, there's infighting. Nobody tells each other what the problem is. Uh, They get blown up. They start again. They don't communicate. Things go bad, guys get traded, they blow it up again, they fire the coach again, they trade a player again, over and over and over until they just have no picks, no capital, and a bunch of fucking dismal results. That's like the Charlotte Hornets. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Um, So the Minnesota Timberwolves faced that same issue, right, in the offseason. They lost in five to the Nuggets, and the difference between the Wolves and the team like the Sixers is they've got a star, a transcendent star, Ant Edwards, who is willing to put in the work. Ant Edwards, who has relentless... I strive to be as relentlessly positive as Ant Edwards. He's 21 years old, and he is maybe the, the greatest dude in the league. He might save this franchise from themselves. as He p- could potentially save this franchise from maybe the worst trade in NBA history. Of course, I'm talking about Rudy Gobert. Like I said, universally disliked, came to this team universally disliked, punched his own teammate in the playoffs to the point where that other player is now going to maybe leave the team. And instead of Ant Edwards being like, yeah, we agree, this guy fucking sucks, uh, terrible trade, we got to move him, or whatever the case might, might be, he decides, what's he going to do? He's going to fix things with Rudy Gobert. He's going to patch things up, mentor Rudy Gobert. He is going to get their relationship as tight as it can be. It may seem like a tall order. Rudy is notoriously surly. But if anyone can do it, it is Aunt Edwards, the 21-year-old player. Mind you, Rudy Gobert is 30. So that mentorship relationship is already fucking wild. So according to the Minneapolis Star Tribune, Aunt Edwards is headed to France this offseason just to train all summer with Rudy Gobert. All summer. Yes, you read that right. According to Wolves beat writer Chris Hine, Ant Edwards is planning on heading to France to work with Gobert. From the outside, Edwards and Gobert didn't always seem to be on the same page. Edward always seemed reluctant to pass when working with him with the screen and roll game, and Edwards says that wasn't the case. I am stunned. I thought that there would be no way that this trade could get salvaged. But holy moly, Ant said this, I love Rudy. Me and Rudy got a great understanding. We talk all the time. I think he can get a lot better as far as catching the ball, jump hooking, and I tell him all the time, like, Rudy, I'm going to throw you the ball every time. I want you to jump hook or money dunk on someone. And he's like, I got you. So this summer we're going to get together to work on it in France. He's going to go to Aunt Edwards in France? I need this reality show. I need it. Not like, hey, Rudy, you French fuck, you've ruined our team. You come to my city and you train with me. No more baguettes for you, bitch. You're coming to me. No, no, no. He's like, croissant, bonjour. I'm coming to you, Rudy. Au revoir. Like, if anybody can make Rudy Gobert likable, it's Aunt Edwards. And you know who Aunt Edwards never said anything like this about? Never heaped praise on, never went and traded with them in the offseason, never said how much he likes them. Carl Anthony Towns. This is just further evidence that Carl Anthony Towns probably is on his way out because this team cannot work with two seven-footers. you got to choose one. One can't defend, one who can't score. There's a reason that the rumor mill is full of the talk about Carl Anthony Towns to the Knicks involving either R.J. Barrett or Julius Randle. Ant is going to be first team all NBA. He is the stake. And Carl Anthony Towns also has main character syndrome. So he might be on his way out 
and Ant Edwards is going to fully salvage the Rudy Gobert trade and maybe even Rudy Gobert's career as a result. If you are a Wolves fan, Ant Edwards, croissant, a bonjour. Like, that is the best news that you could possibly ever get.